Welcome back to another spiritual blog with the Courageous Sage. Today I'd like to talk to you all about Enneagrams and the Myers-Briggs test. So, the Myers-Briggs test is a series of psychological questions that it asks you to discover what your type is, basically. And I think there's 16 different types in the Myers-Briggs test. And in the Enneagrams, it's another personality test. And there's nine different types. So I just wanted to say that you don't have to let those define you or describe you as who you are. But if you find that there's some sort of benefit to taking in what it says about your personality types, and you find that you benefit from it, then wonderful. If you feel like it's not serving you, then you don't have to attach to it. You don't have to allow it to describe you. But there are benefits. For me, my uh, Myers-Briggs uh, currently is the campaigner, which is the ENFP, extroverted uh, N feeler something, whatever. <laughs> and my anagram is nine, which is calmness and relaxation. So. So there's a lot of different classes in each one and they each have their benefit and can serve for your expansion because it connects to things that may come up like as a regularly in your experience. Like if it says that maybe you are too attached or possessive, then we can work to become more giving and loving and compassionate and sharing. So. That's a bonus benefit kind of thing that you can get from it. Otherwise, if you feel like it says that you're possessive but you don't feel possessive, then don't let it don't let it describe you. Don't let it be something that holds you back. But if you feel like you can grow from it because it's something that might be true in your life, then help it serve you. Help you grow with it. So these things are kind of like the zodiacs. So the zodiac 12 zodiacs, you know, for the most things unless you, well you also have the 12 zodiacs the Chinese zodiacs and then you have the other things but you know with those zodiacs a lot of the time the universe just you connect to it so much that your life becomes based around that zodiac so you might actually start absorbing that idea into your life into your consciousness and it becomes part of you and so that will overlap into all other aspects of your life. So if you're really attached to your zodiac and you take one of the Myers or Enneagram tests, then it'll definitely have an effect on your perception because you've already ingrained in your personality, into your ego, who you are and what you want to express outwardly. So for me, like, you know, you can, I could say I have the aspects of Leo within me, so I get very into being able to express myself freely and be a light and there's a lot of things that aren't beneficial from a Leo which is prideful and arrogant and dem what is it the one where it's diplomat not diplomatic but very this is the way it is kind of thing because it's a fixed position but since I've learned what that represents to me I can grow beyond it, I can not attach to it, I can take what's good about those things and rise into those, like the very loving, caring, compassionate, heart, regal, expressive, uh, Leo type, the cat, the one that just runs, you know, the jungle, <laughs> it's a light, it's a sun, so I take that and I let it become part of me, but then I also realize I'm all of the zodiacs. And we are all the anagrams. And we are all the types of the Myers-Briggs test. And it's just up to you to realize what is the most beneficial aspect of each uh, personality type. And you take it. You take the most beneficial aspects. You absorb them into your life. And you release the things not serving you. The aspects no longer benefiting you. You just let them go. You let them float down the river of your experience. You know, so if you get to experience uh, what your Enneagram is or your Myers-Briggs and you feel like it has really changed your life, then maybe leave a comment. Tell me about it. I'd love to hear. I'd love to hear from y'all.
in general. I'd love to hit about anything if you want to just message me, you know, subscribe to me, follow me. Uh, not in the sense that I need you to follow me, but, you know, I want more friends in that aspect. So I'm here expressing my perception and sharing my love. And it's a beautiful day. Wishing you the most blessed rest of your day that you can experience the most benevolent rays of peace and bliss and passion and compassion and rays of health and vitality. Amen. Namaste. Have a good day. For you are the cosmos and you are beautiful. And I'm so grateful for you. And I'm so thankful for you. And I'm so ever blessed to have you as part of my experience.